you could be making a huge mistake as a beginner in Mythic Plus without even knowing it. Here's the truth, for better or for worse, many players these days decide what to play based on tier lists, which is true not just in WoW, but in virtually every other competitive game. And we're not saying anything is necessarily wrong with anyone making a tier list, because we also make them ourselves, not to gatekeep, but just to analyze the current meta. But most tier lists have one big problem. Just because a spec is strong for high keys doesn't always mean it's good for beginners. So our goal for today is to really find out what specs are the most beginner friendly, while ideally being strong enough to consistently push IO. And throughout this video, we will be giving you some tips on what to improve if you choose to play one of the nine specs we will cover. And if you are a beginner, intermediate, or even advanced player wanting personalized help this season, then you're in luck, because for a limited time only, every skill cap member can get free monthly VOD reviews. An expert player will take your gameplay and give you direct feedback on anything you need. If you do this every month, that's over $500 worth of value, getting information that actually helps you climb, and allowing you to skip the frustrating guesswork involved in fixing key depleting mistakes. This is just one amazing perk we offer at skillcap.com, on top of our expanding library of dungeon guides and class courses. All of this and more is why we guarantee that you can gain up to 500 IO score just by using our guides. So be sure to visit the links below to learn more and get started with an exclusive discount offer. For now, back to the video. First up, let's explain the criteria we use to make our rankings. When it comes to a spec being good for beginners, we need to think of skill floors, which represents the lowest amount of effort needed to do well. For DPS, the most important thing is having a simple damage rotation, while ideally having low responsibilities. Passive tankiness is good too, but less important in lower level keys since damage isn't that high anyway. It's also going to help if a spec is strong, since even inexperienced players can have high impact with big numbers. We will need some different criteria for healers and tanks, but more on that later. So if these are our criteria for DPS, you might be wondering what high tier specs you might want to avoid as a beginner. For ranged DPS, the answer is Mage. Now, of course, this has been a staple in the high key meta for quite some time, but that's because Mage has a high skill ceiling as opposed to a low skill floor, and this difference really matters. Rotationally, Fire Mage is a very reactive spec, requiring players to react quickly to procs in order to optimize damage output. This comes with a relatively complicated burst cooldown, which can't really be pressed on CD and requires careful planning before use in order to make it truly effective. The Mage defensive kit is obviously very strong, but that's because Mages have low baseline defense, which requires players to be incredibly proactive with major cooldowns. So with a complicated rotation, high responsibilities, and low passive tankiness, we wouldn't recommend Fire Mage for beginners. But you weren't here to learn what's hardest, but instead, what specs are still the most beginner friendly while also being strong? The obvious choice here is Beast Mastery Hunter, who is able to check off multiple boxes in our criteria, having a simple rotation that requires minimal maintenance while also having low responsibilities. As BM, you are way less reliant on cooldowns compared to other specs, allowing you to do consistently high damage all run. This removes a lot of guesswork and eliminates the decision of when to prioritize CDs, allowing you more freedom to practice mob control and general defensive play. Now, I know that some of you Hunter mains might be saying that Barb Shot adds some complexity to the spec. But there are multiple damage dealers that have similar and even more complex forms of maintenance, so we're going to ignore that for now. With that said, the real learning curve for Hunter is obviously their survivability, which leaves a lot to be desired, but only becomes a real challenge above the plus 23 key range. So if you want to train yourself to be ready for higher keys, focus on making key defensive plays, proactively using survival of the fittest before major damage events, and then being quick to react to big hits with exhilaration. On the flip side, we will also recommend Destro Warlock for beginners. As you should know by now, Warlock is an absolute tank. Although damage is less of an issue in lower keys, this is still highly beneficial for any beginner, since you aren't nearly as punished for whiffing your defensives. The Destro damage rotation is also quite straightforward, and thanks to this season's tier set, Cataclysm is a default talent, making it very easy to multi-dot on bigger pulls. Just like Hunter, Warlock has less control compared to other ranged classes, giving the spec less overall responsibilities. With that said, a big learning curve for Warlocks is knowing how and when to use Shadow Fury. Unlike most stops, this ability has a cast time, which means getting in the habit of monitoring nameplate cooldowns in order to proactively stop vital casts or channels. Before we move on to melee, we have one honorable mention. Balanced Druid is definitely an accessible spec for beginners who are looking for a simple and effective damage rotation. While the spec does require some dot maintenance and ramping, Balanced Druids are able to put out impressive numbers fairly consistently, especially during big pulls thanks to their uncapped AoE. With that said, Balanced Druid tends to be heavy when it comes to potential responsibilities, and there is a lot you can offer on the utility side if you want to have maximum impact on your group. 
Being ready to stop casts with Beam, Roar, or Nox while having the awareness to innervate your healer or battle res your shaman should all be weighted equally to your damage. Balanced Druids can also encounter a learning curve for their rotation. Despite having a low skill floor, the spec is littered with ways to min-max. Just like many other DPS, Boomkins are rewarded not only for properly managing dots and secondary resources, but also have secondary procs and buffs to play around, like Pulsar, Star-Lord, and potentially even Orbit Breaker. Knowing how to properly min-max passives like these is what allows high-rated Boomkins to do incredible numbers, and is a big reason why Boomy has slowly crept into the top of recent leaderboards. Anyway, with range DPS sorted, let's move on to melee, with Rhett Paladin as our first pick. The appeal of playing this spec as a beginner includes the fact that it's fairly easy to do big damage. Virtually every button you press is going to hit hard, and with a simple priority-based rotation, dealing damage is quite intuitive. Rhett is also one of the lucky melee specs to have extended range on every single attack, making it a pseudo-ranged spec and giving it more uptime when needing to dance around mechanics. And as one of the tankiest melee in the game, Rhett is less prone to getting punished, once again allowing players to invest more into pumping damage. Much like Balanced Druid, the main learning curve for Rhett Paladin is figuring out how and when to weave in utility. Rhett can provide tons of support to its group, whether it be through a clutch bop or sack, or simply being ready to off-heal and dispel when needed. In the past, we've said that healer mains tend to make the best Rhett Paladin alts, since being aware of what's happening to your group allows you to have enormous impact in the success of your runs. But if utility really isn't your thing, then Fury Warrior is another solid choice for a beginner spec. On paper, dealing damage as a Fury Warrior is pretty straightforward. Keep up Whirlwind stacks while attacking a priority target with a streamlined 2 or 3 button rotation. In the past, we've seen comments that Fury requires high APM, and while there might be some truth to that, virtually every melee spec in WoW can be quite global intensive too. Without a complex rotation and as a passively tanky class, Fury Warrior players can devote more time into general Mythic Plus practices, being effective with interrupts and stops. And as a more advanced learning curve, Fury Warriors should research when and where to use Spell Reflection. This is a spell with lots of depth, ranging from simple damage reduction to actually being an effective damage button when used with Taunt. Now at this point, we've only covered DPS, and that's for a good reason. Between the three roles, DPS are probably the most beginner friendly, with tanks definitely being the least. Now, we don't want to get into a discussion about which role is easier, melee or ranged, because there are definitely valid arguments on both sides, and we're sure the comment section will sort everything out. But no matter what, as a DPS, if you make blunders across an entire run, it's usually not a big deal. After all, dying is never a DPS problem, but a healer problem. We're totally joking, of course. Tanks, on the other hand, are less forgiving when it comes to a lack of experience and making mistakes. The tank role places a massive emphasis on game knowledge, and although there is a wealth of information teaching you how and what to pull, putting all of this into practice can be a challenge if you're unfamiliar with mob and boss mechanics, or lack basic tanking fundamentals, like how to group pulls while learning when to spend resources on threat generating abilities versus survivability. Because of how much individual mistakes can affect the entire group, we think tank is the least friendly role for beginners. Somewhere in the middle are healers, and here our criteria needs to change. Once again, the main thing we are looking for is having a simple, reactive healing kit. Then, if a healer has lower responsibilities and is passively tanky, we're looking really good. And as an added bonus, if a healer can easily do damage, then we're absolutely golden. With all this in mind, one healer we would probably not suggest as a beginner is Resto Druid, who isn't able to achieve our primary goal of having a simple, reactive healing kit. This is because Resto Druid healing is entirely proactive, requiring players to really plan ahead, ramping their heals well in advance in order to deal with major damage waves. Because of this, Druid is also less beginner friendly when it comes to dealing damage. Shifting into cat form and spamming damage globals can be very disruptive, making it easy to fall behind on hot maintenance. If you are inexperienced in Mythic Plus, Resto Druid might feel a bit more challenging despite being a high tier meta healer. Instead, we're going to give you two different recommendations starting with Resto Shaman. Despite being considered one of the weaker healers for high keys, shamans are an excellent choice for anyone looking to try out healer in Mythic Plus. Remember that the defining trait we're looking for is having simple, intuitive, and most importantly, reactive heals, and shaman definitely checks all of these boxes. Instead of needing to ramp up heals in advance, rest of shamans react to damage as it happens, alternating between chain heal and healing surge in order to fit different damage patterns. Like other healers, Shaman has a few forms of maintenance including Earth Shield and Healing Rain, but aren't super punished by slacking on keeping up either one of these. 
It is also quite straightforward to deal damage as Shaman, and because of its reactive healing kit, assisting with damage is less disruptive as well. Not only will Shamans passively deal damage with Acid Rain, but will find moments to weave in Lightning Bolts or Chain Lightning in order to fit pull sizes, while also having instant Lava Burst procs as fillers. And all of this was recently buffed, so if you were looking to try out a healer that can have high impact on the damage meters, Resto Shaman might be a good fit. The main learning curve of Shaman is playing around tidal waves, finding key moments to weave in Riptide for optimal mana efficiency instead of relying exclusively on Chain Heal and Healing Surge. Now, before we reveal our next beginner-friendly healer, we need to emphasize that being high-tier metaspec is less important as a healer in entry-level keys since there is less overall damage to heal. With that in mind, we're also recommending Holy Priest for beginners in Mythic Plus, once again due mostly to its highly reactive and intuitive healing kit. Just like Shaman, Holy Priest has a clear healing button to fit into every single damage pattern, reducing complex decision making. With that said, the spec can suffer defensively, being the weakest healer against physical damage. In lower key levels, this is less of an issue. But in order to push higher keys, priests need to play proactively, stacking damage reduction in advance with flash heal, and being ready to pre-fade those big one-shots. Another big learning curve for Holy Priest is navigating cooldown reduction. This spec is built around CDR on Holy Word spells, which can often mean planning global in advance to maximize healing output. Now it's finally time to move on to tanks, where we need a new set of criteria. Once again, we will need to consider the rotation complexity, but now we will need to consider how quickly threat can be gathered on pull, and whether or not a tank has multiple efficient or high impact defensive cooldowns to fall back on. For many of these reasons, we would not suggest Brewmaster Monk. This spec is a classic victim of button bloat, having a very complex rotation compared to other tanks. Monks can also feel quite naked, not literally, but defensively, and despite having multiple defensive cooldowns, each has a relatively long cooldown. Instead, we have two suggestions for tanks that are better suited for newer players. The first is Guardian Druid, of all things. Mechanically, this might be the most straightforward tank, with a simple rotation, short cooldowns, and the right amount of stops. Like many tanks, Guardian Druids have some maintenance and need to focus on balancing rage between damage and generating iron first stacks. Because of this, Druids can feel a bit squishier on pull when iron first stacks are low, but can circumvent this by entering pulls with mitigation pre-pop. So despite being considered a weak option for high keys, Guardian Druid might be the best overall option for newer players looking to pick up the tank role. With a simple rotation combined with high survivability, Druids are a great choice. Another tank we might recommend for beginners is Protection Warrior. Warriors are one of the premier tanks when it comes to threat generation and encounter less aggro issues compared to other tanks, while also being durable all the time. This is because Prot Warriors have very efficient forms of physical damage mitigation, having Ignore Pain and Shield Block combined with Demoralizing Shout in order to make it easy to survive during pulls. And when more mitigation is needed or in cases of emergency, Prot Warriors have multiple higher impact CDs to fall back on. Once again, this double threat of short and long damage mitigation CDs makes Protection Warriors live up to their tank name. Now, you might be pointing out that Warriors have limited utility, but ironically, this makes them easier to play since you can focus on actually tanking. So with less responsibilities, a simple rotation, and with great physical durability, Prot Warriors are a fantastic option for any beginner tank. But no matter where you are on your journey, Skillcapped is here to help. For a limited time, website members can get one free VOD review a month. You can do this directly from Discord using our submissions channel, and in no time, an expert player will give you personalized feedback on your UI, settings, gameplay, and more, ensuring you can hit your rating goals before the season ends. This is just one insane perk we offer at skillcap.com, on top of hundreds of class courses and role-specific guides that help you skip the frustrating learning process. We're so confident our service works that we even offer a risk-free rank-up guarantee where we promise you will gain at least 500 IO score while using our website. So be sure to click the links below to get started. For now, we want to thank you all for watching. See you soon.